Correction and stuff. The conducting menace does not drop the brain food lunch one in 128 times. I had it confused with another enemy. It actually drops the bottle of water one in 32 times. Just thought you should know. Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Earthbound. Last time, we went down into the depths of Dalam, but thankfully we're careful not to go too deep and fall to our depths. We emerged victorious over thunder and storm. I like those words, emerged victorious. Been using them a lot lately. Maybe I should vary it up a little bit. And earned the sixth melody from the Your Sanctuary locations. Three quarters of the way there. Only two left to go. And we had a... experience that put a lot of life into perspective. This time, we are back at Delam oh. as promised, continuing our travels. I'm a big fan of warm welcomes, we'll say. I'm doing this as a hobby. Isn't it cool? I recently made a friend. He used to be a dungeon maker. He's now a dungeon man. Would you like to meet him? Alrighty then. I'll give you the key so you can enter him. Uh, oh no, I don't have it. I must have lost it somewhere. I'm sorry. Uh, I don't worry about small things. What are you actually doing as a hobby? Sitting at the top of a rope? Because that's a pretty talented thing to do. I understand. He's a very strange fellow. <laughs> Yeah, because the rope is actually... Do I want to know what that rope is coming out of? No, I probably do not. <laughs> Scaraba is actually one of my... Uh, I like this town a lot. It's a place that I remember not really remembering. On... <laughs> I remember not really remembering. Yeah, the most memorable thing about it on my first playthrough was that I didn't really remember it that well, but I remember as I got older and I kept coming back to it, it was better and better than I remembered it each time. Ack, the heat. Is your body okay? And I interest you in some of my merchandise. The local shop sells wet towels. As you can imagine, probably gonna be pretty helpful. The vial of serum heals poison. And I think this wonderful item is going to go, let's give it to Jeff. We've seen the secret herb. We can now buy sudden guts pills. They don't got drinking laws over here in the Middle East. You can buy all the alcohol you want. They'll just look the other way and call it a protein shake. And bananas. I don't know if the Middle East is known for its bananas. I somehow doubt it. May you never find rocks in your sandals. Oh, rocks and shoes are terrible. I, I seem to have a lot of my least favorite things have to do with footwear. Between rocks and shoes and uh, wet socks. Why don't you buy something? I've got a family to feed if you say no to buying anything. We'll go back outside. Because that's not the main thing that we have an interest in. Poisonous snakes cost more. How would a fine young man like you need one? Yes, I'm a red snake. Come on in. Kiss of fire. Armpit hair of fertilizer. Yes. What is it you want to buy? These items suck. I consider them to be some of the worst items for the money that there is. The snake does a little bit of damage and has a chance of poisoning the enemy. When I say a little bit of damage, I'm talking like three damage. The Viper is the same thing, but thankfully has a guaranteed chance of poisoning the enemy. Compared to the big bottle rockets, which cost less than this, why would you ever need it? Even compared to the bombs, they are vastly inferior. Oh no, you disappoint me. You disappoint me too, buddy. Should I keep a snake at home? Perhaps I should ASP an expert. <laughs> Snakes are so unpleasant, but so cute. Oh, I don't know what what I may be saying. Uh, this guy's side sprite and how he has a toothy grin as he steps. I don't know why. I just find him really cute, I guess. <laughs> Always thought that. What about you? Oh, you have the mark of bad luck on your face. No, don't worry. If you want to know, I'll humbly tell you. You shall come back here after you have encountered a dangerous situation. However, I may be wrong, and if so, a thousand pardons. Hello, would you like some seasonings to add to your meals at meal foods at mealtime? They're really quite miraculous. You can buy all the regular condiments here, and the sugar packet of sugar is thankfully very cheap if you want to do that rock candy glitch. There's just no reason to get the, anything but the jar of deli sauce if you want to have the versatility of them, and it's not even like the jar of deli sauce costs that much compared to what we can afford now. Hey! Pictures taken instantaneously. I will not do that for the entire thing because I do not hate you that much.
Bye. If you already got what you needed, great. But if you don't, well, that would be a real shame. Take a good look at my menu and decide. We have equipment here. Big League Bat, the Platinum Band, does not cost nearly as much as it costs in summers. I think in summers it was $9,998. Big decrease. This is what I was talking about when I said that you are better off waiting on items if you don't have the money. Defense Spray, Crystal Charm, the Broken Cannon. I don't think Jeff has one of those yet. We'll buy it for him. If I already did get one and I just forgot, then we're only at a few hundred dollars. Uh, speaking of being out of money, that's what I am. Let me go get some. Oh yeah, I guess we haven't really seen where the ATM is. You want to go to the hotel. There's not one in the shop. Platinum Band can go on Ness. Crystal Charm prevents paralysis. And that can go on Paula. The Piggy Nose is an oddball item. Maybe buy one of them, well... Actually, don't. I'm just kind of buying it for demonstrative purposes. If you wear this on your nose, you can find you can find and root out magic truffles. Can be used many times. Oh, let me explain a bit about magic truffles. They're a kind of mushroom that grow in damp places like the base of big trees. They are almost always buried, so they cannot be seen. If you find one and eat it, it's said, it is said to greatly recover a person's PP. You can see more info about wondrous magic truffles after you have obtained one. <laughs> Oh, those help systems cross-promoting each other. It's quite a business. Snake bag can hold live snakes. There are snakes in the sack. Please, it is a very useful item. Shall you buy one? I'm humbly offering it to you. That's $290. Why on earth would you ever buy just one snake? I'll give you a discount as the sack has a hole in it. I reiterate. Why would you ever buy one snake? You can use that many times. Hello there, welcome to my humble shop. How about our famous Scarab Delicacies? We carry a variety of things, what would you like? I wanna buy the Bean Croquette. Or Bean Croquet. Or Bean Croquet? Uh, I don't know. There's a few other new items that are just standard HP recovery, like the Molokea Soup, the K-Bob. Yeah, I know how that's pronounced. Uh, boiled egg, fresh egg if you want to sell chickens or have food for your vipers. Nothing else, really. And I know that there's one other building that I want to go to. Where are you? Where are you? Is it in here, perhaps? No. No, I don't want any mummy bandages. No soliciting allowed, please. This sprite reminds me of a recurring dream that I used to have as a kid. I had a dream that I ended up in a Middle Eastern country and I wound up marrying a woman who had a veil on all the time. And she would never show me what she looked like. I could never get her to take the veil off. At the end of the dream, I was able to remove the veil and I found out that I married a tree. Yes, we even had children. Is it you with the camel? If you're going to the pyramid, prepare well and be ready for whatever may occur. I mean, you're saying that, but you're not actually telling me where to do that. <laughs> oh, because I wasn't clear about this and actually didn't know it, you can buy more snake bags than just one. So if you were thinking that that was the justification for why you would ever buy a regular snake, no. I searched high and low and up and down and all around, did not come into contact with any more equipment shops even though I swore there was another one. Oh, Earthbound, with all your details that I can never keep straight no matter how many times I play you, it's like experiencing you for the first time all the time. Oh, be careful where you walk, it's filthy. A chubby kid did his business out here somewhere. Pokey stink still hangs in the air. I would say it's concerning that he's been here too before us, but at the same time, Ness, why do you know what that smells like? I'm far more concerned to know the answer to that. Hold on a second. What is Pooh's guts compared to everyone else's? 36, 24, 25, 13. Personally, 
I've always interpreted... Okay, so I, I've noticed that Pooh gets Sunstroke more easily than everyone else, and that confirms it that I was right, that he does get Sunstroke more often than everyone else. I kind of interpret that as because he's bald, or I guess has his hair tied up in no ponytail, so most of his head is exposed, he gets sunburns on top of his head a lot more easily. Just kind of another extension of how I feel about Ness having that. Staying in the hotel to show that there's an arms dealer in your hotel room. There's a poor taste joke in there somewhere. You can buy big bottle rockets right next to where you can buy the snake. So again, why do you care? All right, uh, super bombs. Maybe we could throw a super bomb on Pooh. No, I don't think we will. <laughs> Our inventory is getting full. I don't want to have to deal with it, so never mind. Good morning, good sir. Please allow me to read you from the local newspaper, the Scarab of Papyrus. Kraken, the evil sea monster, now gone forever. Oh, uh, well, there is some good news here about. Yeah, I was kind of hoping that Jeff would repair an item. He hasn't repaired an item in a while, which um, that actually does determine his chances. It is not inherently always going to happen if he has enough IQ. There is somewhat of a luck factor involved. And if you go a while without doing it, then it does increase the chances. Anyway, time for us to go out into the desert. Location is everything in the world of business, and something tells me your business is about to fold. <laughs> not to mention, I don't think the desert's the best place for a bald guy. I've seen that not go so well for one of us already. Hey! The Dread Skelpian, our first Scarabian enemy. Just like the regular Skelpians, I don't think these guys are too dangerous. They have pretty low HP, they are able to poison you, and not much else. I also want to state that I do still have quite a lot of money on me. You know, maybe I shouldn't have that much on me. I'll be right back. Losing $14,000 to a regular enemy would suck, and I'm not trusting my luck with that much money no matter how good it normally is, because I ain't... I may be dumb, but I'm not stupid. I have 5,000 bucks on me now. I don't recommend outright that you do this, but it's another one of those, shall we say, demonstrative things that I like to do so much. You, what are you doing out here? I sell water to those who are thirsty. It's expensive, though. Bottle of Dick's Water. $200, but it restores 40 PP to Pooh, which he doesn't have any room for. I guess we'll give it to Jeff, the best person to have a PP recovery item in his inventory. I think it was a good buy. No, I don't want to buy some. Price things determined by the relationship between supply and demand. He gets pretty sharp to be able to understand this theory so well. Well, you'll die by dehydration. I'm warning you. Such a lovely guy. Oh, God, no! <laughs> he sicked his pet scalpion on us! <laughs> yeah, it seems like freeze beta is the way to go. Ooh! Uh, guys? That scorpion's a predator. I don't think that's ketchup. Your innocent minds can leave it behind and just think that it was ketchup, okay? Give me that healing. And I guess we can... No, the other enemy's gone. I guess we're not fighting it. I just wanted to explore this place in depth, make absolutely sure that I'm leaving no grain of sand unturned. There's not really a whole lot of stones out here that I could leave unturned, so gotta make substitutions wherever possible. I gotta say, that shadow left by that tree is kinda nice looking. I never noticed it though, but it looks kinda funny. I guess maybe the sun's like right overhead, so the shadow looks kinda tiny. And the shadow's not even the same on all the trees, meaning that the angle of the sun is... <laughs> wow, I sound like I'm overanalyzing a piece of fiction or something, being like, you know, the, the sun is in this location in the shot above these two ponies. That clearly meant that Lauren Faust had a really creative intention saying that this is a serious issue that we really need to be working on. Okay, yeah. <laughs> no, I don't like crazy theories as much as the next guy. Anyway, the Great Crested Buka. They're really funky looking, but not very funky fighting. Really, they're more powerful versions of the Bukas that we fought back in the Dusty Dunes Desert, and just more powerful. They have their Warcry that lowers offense and defense. 
They can have big grins on their face, and they attack you. They're one of the mo least remarkable enemies for how wacky they look. What? I need to learn to stop belittling enemies for not being remarkable. Just how does that always happen? Who finally not doing one damage? I think that's a mark of a truly unremarkable enemy. Come on, now smash that thing into next week. Thank you. Cool. Uh, let's use an item. PP is your best friend. I recommend conserving PP as much as you possibly can. Oh yeah, the bean croquette. I never actually showed its item description. That was why I bought it. A croquette made with mashed chickpeas and then breaded and deep fried. Gensan and Scaraba loves to cook this. Salt improves it, and the olive oil gives it a wonderful flavor. When eaten, you recover about 40 HP. I mainly wanted to show it because the guy who makes these things is a named character. Only if you look at that item description. Only time in the whole game it is ever mentioned. Little detail, isn't it? Jeff has a uh, no Wow, I really do have all my PP recovery items on Jeff. Let's change that as soon as we can once I've freed up a little bit more space. Do I have anything for you to eat? I guess Pooh can just heal you and then we can recover Pooh's PP. Now screw to level 51 off that battle. Polygar to level 45 as well. There is one final thing that I want to show in this section of desert before we move onward. And you're not it, but I'll take it. Cool. Good, uh, good segue. We have the high class UFO and the beautiful UFO. The high class UFO casts up shields and is able to disrupt your senses, keeping you from using PSI. I consider it pretty dangerous and probably best to take out first. The beautiful UFO, on the other hand, isn't it cute with its bow? And man, I, I really love the sloping outwardness of the lip that you got around your base. You're very aesthetically pleasing, a lot more so than the high class one next to you. You truly live up to your name. It is a more powerful version of the UFOs that we fought back in the Dusty Dunes Desert. You're seeing a pattern here that deserts seem to attract UFOs. I used to live in Arizona, so I'm an expert on said topic. These will always drop an item. I got a Kraken Soup! Heck yeah! Full HP recovery! The other items they can drop are bottles of water to recover Pooh's PP. They can also drop cold remedies and vials of serum. It's pretty nice fighting them and loading up as it's not often that you fight an enemy that will very commonly drop full HP recoveries and even some pretty good PP recovery items at that. Definitely one of the most helpful enemies to get into fights with whenever possible. And they're not even that strong either. We were able to take it out with a couple of freeze betas. Definitely worth it. The real thing that I want to show you, hopefully I can make it happen. Pooh grew to level 38 in the time that it took me to show it to you. There she blows! Hello! Because we have to have more powerful versions of all the enemies in the Dusty Dunes Desert, this was, we didn't get to actually see it in battle, the Master Criminal Worm. It's only attack that it uses against you is Fire Beta. And yeah, it gives you 20,000 experience points per kill. Freeze Omega, yes! Oh, so worth it, it was so, so worth it, so good. I ain't talking to nobody, he's dead. What I did to make it appear was going back and forth and back and forth from this peninsula. Not what I was hoping would happen, come on. Not, really not what I was hoping would happen. You get the point. I walked back and forth between that and as far left as I could go. No, 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 no. Over this way. Oh, I'm taking it, I'm taking it, I'm taking it. I believe every time you walk back and forth, it's roughly a 10% chance of getting it. Ness grows to 52. Excellent, excellent grinding spot. You might have to deal with Sunstroke a little bit, but because your stats are so much higher than they were in Dusty Dunes, you're not going to get them as often. It's not going to be as much of an inconvenience. It's just going to be, you know, it's just a nice grinding spot. And entrance to town's right here. If you ever need to heal, it's awesome. Anyway, I'm going to go heal up real quick. And we walked right by it. Here it is. The Sphinx guarding the pyramid. Are you a thief, a warrior, or one who has come to see my majesty? You must decide what you really are. Therefore, what will you 
do. That was not correct. Dance in front of the Sphinx. Warriors, enter now. Search for the Hawkeye. I think that just fully healed us, which means I didn't have to really have to go back and heal after all. I don't know if it does though. That's a different sound effect than what usually plays, so it might have just been the door opening. We've made it. Gygus didn't want us going to Summers. He really didn't want us going to the pyramid. But we've opened the way. Next time on Earthbound, we go inside and find out just what was so dangerous for Gygus inside this place. See you guys then.